Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of The Finishing Blow. Hopefully you guys are having a good week so far. This week there's a lot of news to cover as well as some giveaways to do. So I'm going to go ahead and roll right into the first news article of the week, which was Max Zhang may be joining the cast of Man 3. Now this hasn't been confirmed, but a lot of people are excited about the idea of Max and Donnie fighting one another, which I think would be really, really cool. And of course, a lot of people are going off of the fact that Max had a role in the Grandmasters, which Tony Leung played Ip Man in that variation. So it's kind of cool to see that transition over from one Ip Man series to another, or it's not a really a series, but from one Ip Man story to another. Um, so I'm sure they're going to do a lot of different things with Yen Wu Ping doing the choreography. It's going to be slightly similar, but I don't think Wilson Yip is going to let them have the same style of action that the Grandmasters did. So I don't think it's anything to worry about, but the fact that Max Zhang is on board plus Yen Wu Ping is on board, it's really, really interesting to see how this one's going to play out. Plus it's in 3D, which I don't, I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest with you, but that's another thing for another day. So as of right now, Max Zhang may or may not be on Ip Man 3. Once it's confirmed or once we hear anything else, I'll let you guys know for sure. But as of right now, it's just cool to see that transition from one Ip Man film to another. So I wanted to share it with you guys. All right, moving forward, we also have some news, I guess, if you want to call it that, for the Rush Hour TV show. Yes, don't worry. It's still there and it still sounds pretty awful. Um, producer Bill Lawrence actually had an interview and was talking about how it's going to be the same characters, but different plot and, you know, it's going to be fresh and like, it, it just doesn't sound good to be honest with you. One of the things that really kind of puts me off on the whole thing is the fact that he said he's going to be looking for a skilled actor first and he can always teach them the action pieces after that. That's just bad. That shouldn't happen. Let's just be honest. You need somebody who can do both, especially if you're going to have somebody play the role that Jackie had, Detective Lee. You need to have somebody who can fight because if you try to cover it up with the choppy editing and stuff like that, nobody's going to like it. And I think it was really cool because they actually asked him about martial law as well if you look at the original um, article. But they asked him about martial law and what he thought of it. And, you know, he felt like they put – he liked it, but he felt like they put – action over comedy and he's going to be focusing more on the comedy so obviously it's going to be kind of really hit or miss probably mainly miss on this one i'm really not that excited about it but i know a lot of you guys have voiced your opinions on it as well i just don't think it's a good idea i think the rush hour franchise should just die off you know after rush hour 3 which was just a cash grab let's be honest it just wasn't good but the tv show just it doesn't need to happen and hopefully it won't but as of right now the producer is pushing forward with it and it sounds like cbs is actually going to be doing the development of this tv show so if i learn anything else i'll let you guys know for sure but for now just you might want to stay away from this one until we learn more about it. All right. And of course, the news that pretty much shocked everybody this week. Skilled actor and martial artist Darren Shlahavi passed away. And it is just ridiculously devastating. So many people were pouring out over the loss of his life. And I didn't actually write why he passed away because at that point in time, it wasn't officially announced. And I don't think it's actually had like a official report yet like a toxicology report so there's been kind of rumors here and there but don't go off of what tmz has been saying because they're just saying that like he overdosed on prescription drugs or something like that that's not what happened according to a lot of the people who were close with darren he had a hip injury that never fully healed and he took a new type of medication that caused a toxic effect and it ended up causing him his life so that is kind of the unofficial word on it right now as soon as i hear like an official thing i'll post it and let you guys know kind of what happened but that's not what we should be focusing on we should be focusing on celebrating his life and remembering him for who he was he was probably one of the best villains that um asian cinema had and it's a truly tragic loss he's been in the industry for so long and he seemed like such an amazing guy and he worked so hard i mean He's got like three or four projects lined up that haven't even come out yet. You got like Pound of Flesh um, is the, the big one that I'm like really excited for. But there's a ton of other ones, Zombo Dende. Um, yeah, there's just a lot. So there will be more content of Darren coming out. But it's just really unfortunate that he passed away at such a young age. 42 in my mind is very, very young. And it's just a huge loss. But if you go to um, either my Facebook or I may even put the link in the description here, you can actually help fund the funeral service um, so that they can get Darren back home with his family and they can have a proper service for him. And I think that's something that, you know, 
he's he's deserved that we we owe him something but if you can't donate or can't support it just share it and let other people know so that they can raise the money and give him the proper send-off that he deserves all right moving forward we also had some new details revealed for scott adkins next film called close range now this is the one where he's filming with isaac florentine and i think they actually just started in december so there's some new information about it it seems like it's going to be one of those um like protect your family slash revenge stories but what's really interesting about it is it looks like the final showdown is going to be at this ranch like this huge ranch and it's going to be almost a marathon of fights he's going to be trying to survive and protect everybody and so it could be really really interesting um i'm gonna have faith in scott and isaac they chose this project over undisputed four to film first for a reason and i think there is something special there so if it's anywhere as good as ninja shadow of a tear i think we're in for something really special and i'm excited for it i'm hoping that the action is going to be solid but as soon as i learn more i'll let you guys know about that as well all right and lastly on the new side of things we also had a couple music videos as well as a poster for jackie chan's dragon blade now as you guys know i'm a jackie chan fanatic i love jackie um ever since i was little that's all i've been watching and the music videos to me the the songs the theme of the film has always been a crucial part of the enjoyment of the film like everybody knows the police story theme it just adds another layer of awesome to the films but with dragon blade it's just more of a question mark i don't understand it like there's two videos that you can actually check out and one is really really catchy i guess you could say it or it's more catchy than the other one but i feel like it's not the actual theme of the movie i think the theme is the other slower version and it's just not as good so this whole dragon blade film is kind of up in the air for me the when i first saw it i was really excited about it and then as the trailers came out and we saw more of the dialogue and heard you know kind of like the lines that they have it's just kind of been a big meh for me so i'm hoping that there'll be another final trailer that just gets me really pumped about it but check out the music videos there's definitely some good footage in there and then let me know if you guys think the the songs are any good i just i'm not feeling them sometimes they grow on me but i don't think that's going to be one of these instances <clears throat> all right and lastly we have a review for the pirates now obviously i did a review for the pirates because i'm giving away the pirates in a few minutes here i'll be giving some of them away so i wanted to give it a watch and if you guys want to know how it is obviously it's a little bit too late to enter into the contest but if you want to know how it is be sure to check it out and let me know what you guys think about it um it's very very interesting sometimes how you see how certain countries handle comedy i don't know the korean film industry has a very strange grasp of comedy and i shouldn't just say korean because i've seen some thai comedy movies that are kind of out there too but anyways i'm getting off track reading my review and you can see what i thought about it and whether it's worth your time or money or not all right so I guess we can go ahead and get into what you guys are all here for, which is the giveaways that I'm doing. I'm doing uh, three copies of Once Upon a Time in Shanghai, which, boom, uh, there, yeah. See that? Blu-ray. All right, so I got three copies, and I've got all the names of everybody who uh, commented. Um, obviously, one, one entry per comment, because otherwise you guys would just go ballistic. But, yes, I've added um, everybody into this little drawing I don't even know it's just it's a it's a picture frame with names on it it's not the most glorious thing ever but i'm gonna draw three names right here right now and we'll see who's gonna win it so let me get one Ugh. all right so the first one <laughs> sean you won a copy of once upon a time in shanghai so i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna send you that i guess all right so sean won one and who's gonna win the next one okay so the next one is suave 65 65 i think he's won a couple too but I mean, hey, you got a pretty good uh, ratio of winning, I guess, because there's three copies. Um, there's still some other names in here. We got, let's see, two, four, five names, one more. So you got a one in five chance. I'm sorry if you've entered and you don't win. I'm, I'm seriously doing these blind. I'm, I'm looking at the camera lens as I pick it. So uh, the next one is Brent Lee. So Brent, Sean, and Suave, if you guys could email me your address, um, I guess we'll just do it the, the regular Marshall's Movie Junkie one, which is uh, kmiller.mamj at gmail.com. If you could just email me your address, I will send those to you as soon as possible. I'm sorry if you guys did not win that, but there's actually a much better chance for people to win the Pirates because I think I only had, let's see, I had one, two, three, four people enter, and I've got... Two copies to give away so that is a 50 percent chance of winning so if you didn't win this 
Once upon a time in Shanghai and you entered in the Pirates, you may win a copy of the Pirates, which is, hey, it's better than nothing, right? Okay, so let's grab this first one here. The first one, Lee B. Golden, Film Combat Syndicate. You get a copy of the Pirates. I really don't care who I send it to. If you guys get your name drawn, um, yeah, I'll give it to you guys and I'll send it to you. So Lee, um, email me as well and I will uh, send the copy of the Pirates to you if you if you want it. All right, and lastly, let's see who's going to win this last copy here. Uh, lastly, B. Diddy. Um, I think he that was the first time he commented on the video. But yes, B. Diddy also wins a copy of the Pirates. So sorry to anybody who tried and entered in the contest and didn't win. I hate it when I enter stuff because I hardly ever win myself and I really wish I could give every single one of you guys a copy but I can only send it out to US addresses so that is kind of one of the uh, caveats I guess of this contest and probably any contest I do any giveaway I do but remember I said US addresses I didn't say that you have to be in the US to win a copy of these movies so that is what it is but let me go ahead and finish this video off so thank you guys so much for your support I'm gonna be trying to get more films that I can give away to you guys obviously I can't do two movies every week I just got lucky and they just kind of came in the mail that way but as soon as I get them I'm gonna try and share them with you guys so that you guys can kind of be rewarded um, for participating in the, the the videos or the website itself commenting you know just being an awesome member of the community i really do appreciate it and this is kind of my way of saying thank you guys so much so thank you for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed and i guess that's all i got so this is k miller and this week it's been finished